Hello friends and welcome back again to my channel. So I know I've been doing a lot of hauls lately and when I fell off the wax bandwagon, I fell off hard. <laughs> so today I have for you one of my favorite candle brands. I got a 50% off code. It is Colonial Candle. I only got a few things but I wanted to share with you because I love them so, so much. Let's get started. We'll start with Simmer Snaps. I've actually been watching a lot of Lisa Shares' older videos about the Colonial Candle Hauls, and she's had very good things to say about the Simmer Snaps, so I'm excited. And so to start off with the first one, I've seen Pretty Polka Dots have these in candle empties recently. It is the Paris Flora Perfuma. Parfum. Flora Parfum, excuse me, but for the name. And this, I think, smells like just such a rich, elegant perfume to me. So I got two of those because I saw Pretty Polka Dots empties, and I thought, I might like that. It's got a pretty label. It smells exactly like what you would imagine the label to smell like. That probably sounds weird, but it does. And then I got... Lisa Shares actually talked about this. <laughs> I like my candle videos. Tobacco and honey. I think this one might be good, especially with one of my Walmart candles that I just picked up, Frosted Honey Cake. I might burn that with this. And this one, I get more of a musky, dark. The honey doesn't really come through on cold, but I'm excited anyway because... Colonial Candle, they can almost do no wrong in my eyes. Other than the 22, my 22 ounce in Brazilian lychee has been having a few burn problems. We'll get into that later. Deviating from wax for a moment, I picked up two of these Butterfly Spring Votive holders. And I just thought... They were precious. I might not put a votive in there. I think a tea light might work a little bit better. Because I don't know how you would clean that out. But, nonetheless, they were cute. I think they were 2 $3 a piece because they were on clearance. So I thought, why not? Why not? It's worth it. If I use them once for a candlescape, it's done. Oh, and I forgot one more Simmer Snap. This is the one that I was the most excited about. This one is Daffodils and Daisies. This one is my favorite. I saw the description online and I thought, gotta get it. Gotta, gotta do it. I think I might, I didn't get it in a medium, jar, in an 8 ounce jar, but I should have. This one is just really, really nice. This is the only one not on clearance that I got. It's really fresh and it smells a perfect mixture of the two. The best of both worlds. I really like these and I'm very excited to start melting them, especially in my Colonial Candle Warmer that I got it Tuesday morning. All right, now we're back into wax. I got three eight ounce jars I ordered. The first one is lemongrass and cilantro. This one I really, really like and have super high hopes for. I think it's gonna do very well for me. And I think I actually might put it with daffodils and daisies because it smells similar but enough different that they'll blend well. I love this. I love the 8-ounce ones the most. To me, they perform the best and I haven't had any problems with any of my 8-ounce ones before. Next, we move on to... This is the rum and raisin. Or just the rum raisin, excuse me. This one smells just very, very nice. I, It's got, like I said, with daffodil and lemongrass and cilantro and all those. The perfect mix, the best of both worlds. This one's sweet. It's, I mean, it smells just like an oatmeal cookie, but with a little bit of rum mixed in there. So it's very good. I'm extremely glad I ordered. And one more thing in this haul. This is going to be a shorter haul than my... Walmart and Yankee Candle. This is going to be the Southern Magnolia. 
the reason I ordered this was I was watching one of Lisa Share's older videos where she had purchased this and said she absolutely loved it. So I thought, if Lisa loved it, we have some of the same candle taste, I might love it. This to me just smells so fresh and sweet. That's been my, my mantra for a while now with Halls is fresh and sweet, fresh and sweet. I'm taking advantage again now that all of the spring scents are back. I think these will all be winners. This one I'm more excited about. I This one doesn't seem to have it too bad, but if you can see the wax is concave, which I found a little bit weird. Maybe it's how they pour it in there. But in the 22-ounce jars, it's a problem with the burn. In the 8-ounce jars, the concave of the wax has never given me problems. And they smell and throw so well, I don't know if I would care if they gave me a problem to be quite honest with you. So that completes my Colonial Candle haul for you all today. I know it was a little bit of a shorter one, but I had to pay shipping, and I was right at the line. I had to take off a simmer snap. With one more snimber, simmer snap, excuse me, my shipping would have been either $11.99 or $12.99 versus the $9.99. I can justify the $9.99. I couldn't very well justify the 11 or 12 dollars i just couldn't i know it's two three dollars but shipping is weird i'm weird about shipping <laughs> especially when i can hunt for it a little bit and find it maybe at a tuesday morning or something like that but nonetheless if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment if you've had any of these colonial candle eight ounce jars or the simmer snaps i'd love to know more about the simmer snaps and if any of them have performed well for you guys and of course, if you like me, my candles, or my candle collection, my taste in candles, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here and share my peculiar <laughs> shopping habits for an 18-year-old. I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.